Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Marla. I am going to get right into this video, no chatting, because it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video because it's a collective haul on top of my favorites for January. So it's kind of a lot of stuff, but this includes, I usually ask like my family members if they wanna get me something for my birthday or for the holidays. I always ask just for like a Visa kind of gift card because that way I can purchase whatever I want. Some of these are purchases that I made myself I birthdayed myself. Yes, I did. And um, let's get right into it. So I don't want to take up too much time. So I'm going to run through these kind of quickly and tell you kind of quickly if they're new and I haven't tried them out yet or if I've already tried them and I really like them. Those will be the January favorites. All right. My first January favorites are from e.l.f. I have only been using these for a little while, but they're already my favorites for January because I like them so much. The first one is this e.l.f. It is their bronze bronzed violet I don't know the exact name of this. I will put it down. I'll put everything and list everything in the description box below this video in order that I spoke about it. That way, if you want to look up something, you'll know the exact name of it. This is an e.l.f. It's a combination blush and bronzer, but the color is gorgeous. These go on. This color you're seeing right now is a true representation of what it actually looks like when you look at it in person. This this is a gorgeous blush and bronzer. The blush goes on beautifully. It goes on just as well as any of my high-end blushes. The bronzer is really not too dark, even though it looks a little dark in the pan. For me anyway, it is a perfect color. I know they have other colors of these, maybe I think a little bit lighter blush and a little bit of a lighter bronzer that may be better for people that are fair. But for me, with my olive complexion, look at that. I mean, that is really beautiful and they go on beautifully. So this has already become a January favorite for me from e.l.f. And also two other things I picked up when I was at Target are these lippies from e.l.f. These are so nice. They go on so beautifully. One is called the Best Berries, this one. And this one is called Need It Nudes. And I'll show you the nude one first. Let's see, this is the one end of it. Just a really, really pretty nude shade. This is one of my favorites. I love these, these go on beautifully. And then the other end of it is a little slightly darker shade of a nude. It's kind of like a brownie nude. What's nice about these is you can use them alone or you can use them together, which makes it I don't know, I love these. These are so pretty. Again, they go on just like any of my high-end lippies. Really, really nice favorite for the month of January already. And the berry one, this is the lighter shade of the berry. Just a really pretty kind of pinky berry shade. And then the other side of it, which is slightly darker, a little deeper berry shade. And again, what's nice is you can use them separately or you could put the lighter one on and kind of align it with the darker one. Put the darker one on, put a little bit of the lighter one in the middle. Favorite for the month from e.l.f. e.l.f. is stepping up the game. Yeah, finally, I love, I mean, I have a lot of stuff in here from e.l.f. I'm really surprised. And the next palette is a palette I've been using like crazy, which you're gonna look at and say, what is wrong with that palette? So I'm gonna show it to you first. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get right there. It's probably a good, whoa, right there. Perfect. That's probably a good representation. That's probably a good representation of what the actual colors look like. This is a darker peachy blush. This is a slightly lighter peachy blush. This is a very light bronzer, and this is a highlighter. This is called the Total Face Palette by e.l.f. I love this. You know, even with my olive complexion, these colors are so pretty. I mix the darker blush with the lighter one and put it all over my cheeks. I put this bronzer actually kind of everywhere because it's so light. It hardly, it hardly bronzes my face, but it gives it kind of a slightly healthy glow. I'm not as fond of the highlighter. It doesn't really do as much. It doesn't really do as much as some of my other highlighters, but I really like this. Now, why is the palette so strange looking? 
When I got it, two of the wells popped out and I had to glue them back in. And the Gorilla Glue, I put too much in, of course. It spewed out all over the palette. And now I can't really close the palette too tight. I have to leave it kind of ajar because if I try to close it, it wants to seal shut permanently. But that is a favorite for the month. I haven't been using it that much, but I love it already. All right, the next two products are skincare products. I know you've watched some of the videos I've done with the Skiderm products that I've gotten from Octoly. I originally got this Smart Neck Cream from Octoly. I fell in love with it and I am almost out of mine and I decided to repurchase this. I really like this company. It's a US-based company, but they also have production, I think, in South Korea. They're trying to make high-quality skincare at a more reasonable price and so far, everything I've tried from them, I've really liked. So I got this Smart Neck Cream because I'm out of it. My neck needs work and um, that's why I picked this up. So this is already kind of a favorite for me because I've already been using it, I think for over a month or six weeks now. Really like that. This is brand new, but I already love it already. It's this Gaderm Vitamin C. It's vitamin C. It has active vitamin C with hyaluronic acid in it. I really, really like this. I wanted to incorporate a vitamin C serum in my routine. And I said, what the heck? I'll get one from Skiderm. And I did. And I really like this. This has good reviews. A lot of good reviews on this. So I picked it up. I already love it. I kind of mix it in with skincare. So sometimes, some days I'll use one thing and the next day I might mix in like a vitamin C serum. I love that. Next, my eye. I got a new palette and I really like it now that I figured out how to use it. <laughs> it's from Tarte. It's their Man Eater palette. How can you not love that name? Man Eater. I love it. But it's really pretty and this is what the shades look like. Really nice, beautiful. I love these two brown shades, but I have it on my eyes right now and I really like it. And I figure, I just figured out that I can actually put this little, kind of like a satin, a little satin shade that you can actually put over the shadows to kind of give it a more satin look rather than a dry matte look. Now that I figured that out, I really like this palette. So I've been using this palette all month. This is a favorite. A couple of newer products. One is a favorite, one I'm not quite sure about yet. I was trying to find a makeup remover that I could actually use at my vanity. I originally tried Cinema Secrets. I could not stand the smell of that. It smells so toxic. I don't know. It smells like radioactive waste. So I said, you know what? I can't use this anymore. I just, it cleans my brushes great, but I just can't put it on a brush and then put that brush on my face. It just smells so bad. But I really like to have kind of a very quickie little brush cleaner. I don't want to use it to clean all my brushes. I just want to use it mainly to clean my eyebrow brush because I'm constantly dipping that in pomade and I like to get it cleaned off while I'm using it. So I got this Sephora. This was, I think, on sale for $5. I got this Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner and I really like it. It takes off the makeup of my brushes really well. So all I do is just give my brush a little squirt here at the table. You have a cloth or something and just wipe it on the cloth. It takes all the makeup off clean enough for me to then use it again on another color or just to dip it back in that pomade. So this is already a favorite. I've been using this for a little while. It's their Daily Brush Cleaner by Sephora. A new product that I don't have really any ideas about yet whether I like it or not is the Sephora Brush Conditioner. I got this because I used that little Zote soap, Z-O-T-E, I think that's how you pronounce it, Zote soap, for my brushes. And it really cleans my brushes really well, but sometimes at least my brushes a little bit, I don't know, stiff. The bristle's a little stiff. And I know a lot of people use conditioner or olive oil on their brushes, but I thought I'd give this a try because I think this was also on sale. So it is the Sephora Brush Conditioner. Don't have an opinion about this yet. I just tried it. So that is something that I'm gonna tell you about and let you know how I like it or if I like it or not. My biggest probably expense <laughs> for my birthday was from Nordstrom and it is New Lash. Yes, new lash. Any of you that have followed my any of my videos know the saga of my bald eyelashes. I have a bald spot in this left eye, right here above this pupil, and I also have kind of thinning, a little slightly thinning eyelashes on my right eye. I have no freaking clue why I have a bald spot in the middle of my eye, but I have come to realize that other people share my pain. There are other people in this world that also have, for some reason, a bald spot in the middle of their eyelashes. But I thought I would give this new lash a try 
buy. Hopefully it's not throwing money down the toilet, but I've heard you no know, fairly good reviews about new lash. So I'm going to give it a try and I will let you guys know. I mean, I really am a good person to try new lash on because I actually do have a bald spot in the middle of my eyelashes. So I will know if this works or not, but I'm going to give it six weeks and see if it does anything to these ridiculously thin lashes that I have to deal with. Just a couple more things. I was in Walgreens and I picked up, I picked up actually two wet and wild lippies, but this is the one I'm actually wearing right now under a little bit of gloss. It is the, and they're brand new, I think. It's their wet and wild liquid cat suit matte lipsticks. They're long wearing lipsticks. I've tried these and I have kind of pluses and negatives. If you have wrinkly dry lips, your lips are still going to look wrinkly and dry using this liquid lipstick. This is not the, the be all and end all of all liquid lipsticks. It still has, you know, some issues when it comes to people that have older lips with a lot of wrinkles in, you will still see your wrinkly dry lips. However, it doesn't seem to get that rim, although maybe because I'm using a gloss over it, it doesn't seem to get that kind of rim around your mouth that you do a lot of times with liquid lipsticks. This goes on really, really, really nice. It is like a cushion of a lippy going on. And this is kind of what it looks like. It has that little well on the wand. It has an angled wand. The wand is really comfortable. It goes on so soft. Now these are not super cheap. I think it was like five something or six something dollars. So it's not like the $1 or $2 lippies that you normally see from Wet n Wild, but this one's called Coral Corruption. I thought I'd give them a try and I do kind of like them for liquid lipstick already this month. So this is kind of a newly end of the month favorite that I'm kind of coming around to liquid lipstick lipsticks, as long as I put a little gloss on it, it works out beautifully. And these stay on all freaking day. I did a swatch of this on my hand and I had a hard time getting it off. I mean, I tried soap, nothing. I really had to use a really, I had to use a makeup remover and I really did have to rub it. So they do have a lot of longevity when you put them on your lips. Just three more things. I was reading Flipboard and if I think anybody that has an iPhone knows what Flipboard is. It's that preloaded app that's on your phone. It's kind of like a news article magazine app where you can kind of flip through articles really fast. The articles are fairly short and it tailors the articles to your interests. So I was looking through Flipboard and it was either an Elle magazine or a Vogue magazine article that said, these are the lippies that you need to have, need to have, remember? They make you feel like you need to have these things, but these are the lippies that you need to have for spring. This is what you need in your collection. And they were fairly inexpensive. So I said, what the heck? I am going to get these lippies and I like them already. The first one is this Revlon lippy. I think this is a new kind of type of lipstick for them. It's called New Nouveau and it was in pink cloud, number 720. That was specifically the color they said you needed to have for summer. But this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty pinky, lighter pink shade. This goes on really nice, very comfortable lippy. I want to say the wearing, the longevity of it is that long, but it really is a very nice lipstick. I'm glad I got it. And I will be using this in the spring when I'm wearing lighter lipsticks like I am right now. This is kind of a springy color, summer color. And the other lippy they said you had to have was by Essence and it is number 09. And this is a beautiful shade, gorgeous. It only costs like I think $1.89 so cheap. And this is what the color looks like. Just a gorgeous kind of, I don't know, purpley shade, but a gorgeous, beautiful. I can't even describe that shade. It's just gorgeous. So I got those two because they were recommended by either Elle or Marie Claire or Vogue or something like that. One of those, one of those magazines. And finally, I finally picked up something I have never had before, and it is a Urban Decay blush. These are beautiful. I didn't realize how amazing these were until I actually purchased them. And this is called Rapture. And it is, again, a gorgeous shade. Anybody that has my skin coloring, this would be a beautiful, beautiful shade. Now I realize why people love these Urban Decay blushes. They are so finely milled and they have a lot of lasting power and 
and do feel really good on your skin, give your skin really a beautiful glow. And now that I'm sitting here, I see two other things that I wanted to mention because they are favorites. So let me grab them right now. All right, the two favorites are two lippies that I see sitting here right on my counter that I'm wearing all month nonstop. One is by Urban Decay. It is their Vice Lipstick in Trance. It is their metalized variety. And this is what it looks like. It is a gorgeous nude shade, but it's a great nude for someone, again, that has my complexion. It is so pretty. You know how I figured out I really wanted this shade? I used the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick app, and I was able to try on all the Vice lipsticks with a photograph. And this is the one I kept being drawn to, Trance, and it is stunning on. That app is great. If you want to get a Vice lipstick, try that app first. If you have an iPhone, you can really see which lipstick really looks good on you. And I bought a lipstick this past month from a line that I've never tried before. It is from Lipstick Queen, another great nude that I absolutely love. This is called Saint Peachy Nude, beautiful shade. And again, it's a really great nude for someone that has sort of my color, skin coloring, just so, so pretty. So those were favorites. I'll let you know how the new lash works out. I think the new lash and the brush conditioning cleaner are the only two things that are kind of new and untried out. <laughs> Everything else is something tried and true that I already know I love. That was it. That was my collective haul January favorites. Oh, one other thing I forgot that I'm using like crazy. I talked about this a while ago. I got this from Octoly, I think last month. It is the Sexy Hair Vibrant, Sexy Hair, Vibrant Sexy Hair, but it's their Rose Elixir. I use this on my hair every day, every day. I never go a day without using this on my hair. I spray it on my hands and then I run it through my hair and you can see, at least my hair is super shiny. And it gives my hair, the texture you see right now is due to this. It gives my hair texture and it makes my hair smell like rose almonds. Roses and almonds, what couldn't be better than that? But it's really great, I love it. I don't use it on my skin as much as I do on my hair because you can use this on both your hair and your skin. My hair, every day, on my hair. Cannot say enough about this. <laughs> Live and die by this thing, I love it. So if you have short hair like me or even long hair and you wanna kind of add some shine without making it greasy and weighed down and give it a little texture. This is it. Sexy hair, rose elixir. Awesome stuff. Okay, that's it guys. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Okay, don't go yet, hold on. The big jugga, mega, mega jugga thing I got from Amazon because my Walgreens didn't have the value size of it. Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Broad Spectrum SPF 60 Sunscreen. I use this stuff every freaking day. The only time I don't use this if I'm going somewhere that's like really important and I have to make sure my makeup looks really, really amazing, then I'll use more of a sunscreen that doesn't kind of leave my skin kind of so whitish looking because this does kind of, if you put too much of this on like I do, you will get kind of a whitish cast to your skin, which doesn't look good, especially on someone with my complexion. It makes you look a little corpse-like. But if I'm just doing my everyday errands and stuff like that, I literally will load this all over my face all over my neck. But the reason I like this one so much, the Pure and Free Baby, because I can put this in here, under my eyes, on my eyelids. I can cover my entire face with it and it does not run into my eyes and it does not burn my eyes. It is amazing. It's 100% naturally sourced sunscreen ingredients, won't run into eyes and sting. It's water resistant and it lasts for 80 minutes. This gets slathered on my face probably every two hours, really. If I know I'm gonna be out in the sun, after that IPL, I don't want to ruin my skin again like I did before in the sun. So this goes on my face and this goes on my neck. This goes on anything that is exposed to the sun. Somebody had asked me before if I use sunscreen. I live and die now by sunscreen. Okay, no more. That's it. Okay, take care guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.